Hello, this is Jonathan2248, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use VideoPad Video Editor. Please note, I do have a licensed software for this. Okay, so right now I am editing, well, I already edited it, but still, um, Random Talking Episode 6. I'll leave a link on the screen if you want to see the finished YouTube video. Okay, so um, this is part one of a part two series um so basically i'm going to show you right now how to split stuff um add stuff make transition screens all that stuff so why don't we get rid of this here and um so i'll well there's two ways that you can put this down you can drag it or you can use this and it will give you options if you already have one down there. Uh, I prefer to uh, um, use the down button because if you drag it, it can mess it up sometimes. Okay. So, this screen right here is what you have selected right here. This screen right here is whatever is down here. Okay. So, I'm going to split this video. Why don't we start watching it? Oh, I am 90% sure that you cannot hear it, but it does have the audio. Okay, so I want to split it right at the 10-minute mark. So if I want to zoom in... Oh, wait, whoops. I can get it exactly at the 10-minute mark, or close enough. Usually it doesn't matter if it's point seconds and hit split video and then it would make a new video and it does that now um what if you just want to um like cut off the ends and like the ends of it like you want to take your time like after the record button and like don't have to like start talking immediately after it then uh, you would move your cursor and then it, you would hit that as a start and that as an end. Please note, just moving these do nothing. Okay, so um, why don't we piece this video together now that I have cut this all out. See? That doesn't really matter what order. So I'm going to place this at the end. And then I forgot to put in the theme song. Well, I didn't forget on... I forgot on purpose, but... Um, so then I can hit place at start. And it'll place at start. Now let's say if you... Wanted to uh, make... Like a transition or something. Uh, you would click right here. And why don't we make it a circle? Set the timing. I usually set two seconds, but I don't use it that often. And then, what? Let's show you what happens. Cool, right? And um, now I'm going to show you a little bit more advanced. Not that really. I don't know. So I could. Oh, why don't we get. Oh, wait. No, none of them have people in it. It's just a screen. Oh, well. So if I wanted to do stuff like black and white, negative, uh, it adds it on. It just doesn't like. Oh, that actually looks really cool. Okay. So uh, I'll leave. Whoops. I'm not going to apply. Oh, wait, actually, why not to apply this? Apply. So now at the finished one. Okay, maybe that's not like looks the best. That's about three of them added together. Okay, so the next um, part two is going to be doing a um, audio, like how to add more gain, how to overlay. Um, I didn't really bother to show you how to overlay pictures. It's very self-explanatory on this. Well, you just literally just put it right up there. Like... Yeah, you guys can figure that out, of course. Um, 
Okay, so thank you for watching the video. Um, subscribe, like, um, I'll leave a link on the screen if you want to see this finished output of this video. And thank you for watching.